So I've decided to make some little handmaids to go in the Handmaid's Tale dolls house. This one's a flat on the bottom so they will stand up and I've made some templates. Got a supply of felt, bits of ribbon etc. Drills a hole through the those pegs and I've also made a little uh, horn in the top so I might decide to perhaps hang them on the Christmas tree as some kind of statement. Used to drill and an appropriate size drill bit to make the hole for the arms but to make the hole for the top because I well, you can't be bothered to get the drill out again you just get your little owl and you just sort of grip hold of it and make a hole in the top. Get my crafters acrylic paints and paint them up. So a call to arms, pun intended. Already drilled the holes for the arms so you just get your pipe cleaner and thread it through. <laughs> ah, at. Get in there. Got ya. So, so I threaded it through then just bend over a bit before the ham. And a lot of people make the mistake of having the arms a little bit too short about where the knees would be take this other bit that over split the arm get your scissors and snip it even up like i've done here so these dolls are going to be on a christmas tree to give them a bit of modesty i'm just using a bit of old bandage that was in my first aid kit and gone out of date it's all purpose glue on the side and around and just wrap this bit of bandage around it and that makes some um, very modest petticoats. So it's time to give the ladies some hair and for this I'm using leftover embroidery thread because I've got quite a lot of leftover embroidery thread. So you take your length of leftover embroidery thread and then you tie a knot in it like that Then you get a little bit of your clear all purpose glue just a little dab of it right on quite high up on the forehead and then you do like I've done here you just stick the knots to the doll's head and uh, push it down firmly. So here are the shapes that you need to cut out. One long rectangle, a sort of a rectangle with a short end, long end with a bit of a curve on both and flayed out of the side. That's going to be the skirt. That's going to be the wrap around top of the dress. This is going to be the wrap around cape. That's kind of like a a cone with a top cut out. The idea of scale that is about 10 centimeters and that is about 8 centimeters and finally two other fabric rectangles more sort of squarey side of rectangles for the arms. Okay so this is what you'll get two of these, one of those, one like that and one like that. So for the arms Put glue, it's all purpose glue, along both sides of the arms. Fold them over like this, fold one end over, and then just pin them in place. So one edge is, put, is glued to the arms, the other is just left flapping, leave them to dry. When this is dry, we go to this stage where you take the other end, glue it, and pin it using clothes pegs or your ordinary pins and leave that to dry so now the sleeves are complete. Okay then you're going to get your uh, skirt bit. You glue around here, flip her over, glue along the back, flip them over and then glue along the other side and glue this side to that side. That'll make a skirt so you end up with this little lady here. Next thing is the top of the dress so you take your long rectangle, splodge of glue, flip her over, move her hair out of the way, another splodge of glue and flip her over again and another splodge of glue and you end up with something like this where the top bit is crossed over. Now we're going to put on the cape bit which is like a cone with a top sort of cut out of it. And you'd splodge your glue, flip her over, flip, splodge your glue on the back, flip her over again like that and you end up with this lady here. 
for beverage use your clothes pegs to peg it in place or pins to peg it in place I always keep a set of pins when I'm doing gluey work because the glue tends to stick to the pins and it's not very good for dressmaking after that okay so now you've got to make the uh, little wings and uh, that is really really simple you get a square of felt fold it in half and sort of cut a round sort of yeah sort of cut a long rectangle like this fold her over like that and then cut out cut it out like that glue on the back glue on the sides at this point you might tidy up the hair if you want to get your clothes peg stick your clothes peg over her head to hold her in place and then you end up with someone like this and then you have to do the face and for that I use sharpie pens yeah I cheat for fine line work I like to use permanent pens yes you could go out and get a really fine line brush but my skills aren't that good so yep you've got a little eye mouth this is Janine so I cut a little bit of scrap felt a bit of super glue and stuck it on and then you've got to put the owl eye in so I went to the shed negotiated with the spider and found these little um, eyes so what you do is you get your owl again probe around until you can find the hole and when you do you get this it's got a little screw end and the screw end will just go in like that and just holds the doll and just sort of screw it in by hand and the wood is soft enough for it to take so these are the finished items and they'll be great for hanging on Christmas trees giving out at craft meetings for a course that you believe in if you want to sort of put some ribbon through them and maybe a gift tag with your message and a website and a course that you support we should be happy with how they turned out for a first attempt and but don't give them to children because they're not made to required safety standards so if you're thinking Meh, I could do better than that. You might well be right. Go ahead, have a crack at it, and let's see what you come up with. Love to see them. Do it, tape it, put it on YouTube, send me a link, and we can all learn from each other and make our miniature lives even better. All the best. Minty out.